Hello, my name is Kirill Chupishka. I'm a 3D artist and in this video we're going to be talking about GPU rendering in Keyshot versus CPU rendering in Keyshot. Uh, and um, specifically we're going to be using a test or uh, a couple of tests to compare speed and quality and the differences. And uh, you can see that I have already started the render uh, using a default Keyshot scene because I think it's um, uh, it's better to compare it using something default that comes with Keyshot so it, the results are same across the board so it's not some kind of super customized scene um, and um, in this case uh, I'm rendering at 256 by 1440 and uh, this scene is simple enough, uh, has um, a very simple setup, so I think um, it's going to be uh, a good example. Uh, the hardware we're comparing is going to be, um, I'm, I'm, I'm running uh, two CPUs, um, which is a total of 48 cores, uh, it's tw uh, 24 cores hyper-threaded, uh, they are uh, Xeon E5, uh, which are uh, slightly older uh, in terms of generation, and uh, I got them a couple of years ago, like maybe four years ago, for the amount of money that I do not feel comfortable disclosing because it was way too much, um, and and basically uh, it, it's my point. Um, sometimes to get a, a good or better result. Uh, spending way too much money is uh, not the way to go. Uh, as you can see, this whole time uh, we're talking, uh, Keyshot is still uh, trying to render uh, 500 samples. And I am um, using uh, CPU this time. It doesn't take too long for this scene. Um, I think it takes uh, roughly about like three, three and a half minutes. Um, and um, even even with this, if we zoom in and take a closer look, um, it's not going to get rid of uh, all of the noise, but we saw that in the scene with the watch as well, where uh, it, it, the point is not necessarily to get rid of all the noise, but um, get a very decent looking result, and this noise can be removed with uh, either denoise, uh, like here in post in Photoshop it can be blurred out um, but um, like you can see it is now gone using the denoise and we can control the noise blend as well uh, but it, it did take uh, three minutes oh, I'm, yeah three minutes uh, 16 seconds and what we're going to do now not gonna save it we're going to switch to GPU and for GPU the hardware I'm using is uh, two NVIDIA's 2080 Ti um, connected together with NVLink uh, to increase the memory capacity which uh, allows for heavier much more dense scenes uh, more textures plugged in etc so if you're really going uh, for like with something heavy um, like extreme extremes uh, are not good for neither like neither GPU nor CPU uh, but anyway I'm um, gonna turn off denoise turn on GPU it's gonna switch to GPU mode and then we're gonna go ahead and render again same setting this time 500 samples same resolution and we're gonna let it render and see how long it really takes. Uh, you can see that if I started with this version of the test first, I wouldn't be able to finish talking before it finished rendering, because this is clearly blowing uh, two CPUs out of the water with 500 samples test. Uh, I don't think this is even going to be a minute. I think this is roughly about like 35, 40 seconds. Um, yeah, that's. 30 seconds, 40, uh, 30.4 seconds for GPU this time. Um, 
uh, with a much heavier scene, I don't think it really depends on the amount of cards and uh, GPU memory available. I don't think it would be the same, but for most of it, I think uh, the results are self-explanatory. And for the second test, uh, I have loaded another demo scene from Keyshot. Um, and I already have the GPU on. You can see if I rotate this a little bit just so that give you an idea how fast this is going to render. Uh, it has depth of field, it has special fuzz material applied, and uh, it will take just maybe uh, a couple of seconds to get rid of all the uh, small uh, pixels around the image, but you get to the final image like right away. Uh, but which I was just going to run a test. Like one of the drawbacks of the GPU is that you cannot use it with a custom control mode where you set the samples manually etc so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set maximum time to 30 seconds and uh, for that final render output and see how far it's gonna get us on GPU uh, versus CPU um, so let's just wait um, 30 seconds for that render And uh, again, uh, as I was telling you before, uh, the photographic comes in very handy at this time where uh, you can first of all denoise the image because all of this, there's no, sometimes with like heavier scenes there's no point in waiting uh, and uh, you can get rid of it. Um, but yeah, so this is a 30 second test and uh, you can see there's a little bit of pixels here here and there, usually with the GPU this will go away at around a minute, which is compared to what it used to be uh, with uh, CPUs waiting for like an hour for a decent image. I think this is a big progress on both ends, like Keyshot and NVIDIA. Um, and yeah, let's, let's check out the, um, what we'll set we will keep the, these render custom settings uh, the, for the lighting presets and we're going to go ahead and render this again uh, with maximum time allowed 30 seconds. Uh, although uh, CPU mode would allow us to uh, bump up samples and everything, uh, but then of course the test would not be fair. So let's take a look here. you can already see that the fuzz is not going to make it. Um, neither is the uh, depth of field. I mean, this is a minor thing. Like I said, it's super easy to tweak in Photoshop, but um, the fuzz um, is not getting there as fast. So uh, really, uh, I would say like in conclusion, um, to... Uh, wrap up this this whole uh, series I would say that it really depends on um, choosing choosing whether or not to go with CPU versus GPU is crucial when you're uh, making a decision like initially uh, to buy hardware and uh, um, at, at this time buying two NVIDIA's like 2080 Ti's uh, versus buying the same CPU setup that I have, which not only requires uh, two CPUs, it requires a motherboard to have two CPUs, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, Value-wise, I think it's about the same difference. It's like this 100 time difference like you saw in the previous test. Three minutes versus uh, 30 seconds. Um, but at the same time, uh, GPU render does have its drawbacks, um, and uh, it's it's more suited for iterations in real time, and uh, certain scenes uh, would not allow you to go with the GPU rendering mode. But I would say that for most uh, tasks, um, a GPU mode is the way to go.